Here with Pitt swimming head coach John Hargis after the Panthers fell to Florida State today. Coach, what were your overall thoughts on the meet? Several event wins, but uh, the team fell to the Seminoles. Yeah, I mean, ACC-wise, uh, Florida State's traditionally one of the top top schools in, in, within the conference, and we knew we were gonna we, it was going to be a tough one, and, and it was. You know, I think we got a, a a true dose of really where we are right now, and, and I hope the kids take from it what, and uh, learn and come back next week when we're facing Ohio State and, and race hard again. Uh, you know, we had a lot of good swims, but uh, we just we've got to create again opportunities where we can get to our hands to the wall, and, and we didn't do that today. Amanda Ritchie won three events, Urban Forster won a couple. Uh, what individual performances really stood out to you? Again, Ritchie, she, that's, there's a reason she's one of the best distance swimmers in the country. You know, I, Sometimes we get on to Amanda a little bit, she can race down to her competition a little bit, and, and she's better than most. And I think today, again, she separated herself a little bit. You know, we're, we're training hard. She's, uh, you know, we're getting her ready for NC2As, which is eight plus weeks away, and she knows that. So in the middle of work, the, the, to be able to step up and swim three races like she did today this close together because we were rushing through the meet a little bit was good, and it was good to see, and, and she continues to compete. Again, uh, Irbin, we call him Jib. He's, he continues to do well. Uh, at, he's he's under, a little under the weather today, actually, so seeing him compete and – kid hates to lose and that's what we want on our team and so he's going to continue to impress and I think over these next three years the kid's going to be amazing. And looking forward you mentioned ACC's and NTAA's uh, Ohio State next week what else does the team need to do to prepare to maximize the postseason up coming up here in February and March? It's going to fall back on the staff we got to get these kids ready to go here in the next four weeks for women and, and really six for guys and so it's going to be up to us to give them what they need practice-wise, training-wise, continue to sharpen them a little bit and give them the rest they need. And we've got to develop skills. You know, our, our starts and turns are still not where they need to be. Underwaters are still not where they need to be. And so we're going to continue to work on those things, and hopefully they'll be there in four, four weeks and six weeks.